The solid sphere in this problem spins without friction, about an axle through its center. The sphere has a radius r and a mass m. I'll draw it spinning this way, so that its initial angular velocity, omega naught, is directed up. That's the direction we'll call positive through the rest of this problem. We're told that a frictional force is applied tangentially to a point on its equator. It's oriented this way so that it will slow down the spin. We're asked in part A to find the angular acceleration alpha. We'll do this using the rotational version of Newton's second law. The sum of all the torques equals the moment of inertia times alpha. Solve this for alpha, letting the direction be indicated by the sign of the value. It equals the torque due to the frictional force F divided by the moment of inertia. The torque is RF sine of phi, where R is the length of the vector from the origin, that's the center of the sphere, to the point where the force is applied. And phi is the angle between the R vector and the force vector. That's 90 degrees, and sine of 90 is 1. To get the direction of this torque, we use the right hand rule. Put the fingers of your right hand along the direction of the R vector, so they should be pointing away from the screen towards you. Curl your fingers to the left where the force is pointing and your thumb then points down. Because we called up the positive direction, this downward torque is negative. We divide this by the moment of inertia for a solid sphere, that's two-fifths mr squared, and simplify to see that alpha is negative five-halves, the force divided by the mass times the radius. Substitute values and calculate. To see the angular acceleration alpha is negative 14.8 radians per second squared. Now in part B, we're asked to find how long it takes the sphere to slow down its rotation by 22.5 radians per second. The angular acceleration alpha is constant, so we can solve this using rotational kinematics. We're told that the sphere slows its spin by 22.5 radians per second, so that's this quantity, the change in omega. It equals alpha times t, so solve for the time t, substitute values, and calculate to see that it takes 1.52 seconds.